Good morning, folks. It is a Saturday after a 4 0 loss against Utica. And um, obviously, it doesn't feel great being back right away and losing right away. It got to a lot of people's emotions, especially mine last night. But um, it doesn't change the fact that we have to keep moving forward and we have to just keep pushing forward. So um, today, you're going to get to see a day in a life on a Saturday. Um, Saturdays are known for earlier games, so we have a 4 p.m. game today. So um, currently it is 9.55-ish. Um, typically on Fridays, I'm absolutely wired after a game. So I don't usually get to bed until about 1 or 2 a.m. So I try and at least get my seven, eight hours of sleep. So I woke up around 9.30 today. Um, and then I did my own kind of yoga routine and all that stuff before I came out here and decided to just start filming. So um, I can't wait to share you today's day in life and uh, let's, uh, let's go kick some butt. Obviously, per usual, we go on a little bit of a walk. Um, I'm testing out my new tripod today. Um, a buddy of mine, shout out to a teammate of mine, Jumbo, uh, for getting me this uh, elusive like 360 tripod so it moves while you move. So we're gonna test it out on the walk today. So come on and uh, let's check it out. I wanna see if it can actually move with me. So uh, let's try and run by it and see what it does. Will it catch me? Will it catch me? Come on. I knew I was too fast for this thing. And a little review about my game last night. Uh, I had my first breakaway in a very, very long time. Did not score. Um, unfortunately, fanned on the shot. It actually made me feel awful. But regardless, the rest of the game got a lot of puck touches. Just not getting in ideal scoring areas. Um, like there's times where you possess the puck a lot, but you don't get possession in areas where like you're a threat to score. So. Um, it's working to what, get to those places, but you also have to work in the dirty areas to get to those places too. And then a couple times, I was at the blue line where I made moves rather than just throwing it in behind a defenseman's feet, where instead of trying to hit a home run way, right away and trying to walk a defender, it'd be better to just hit a base hit, go for the chip in behind their feet, get somebody else to come and swing in, and then play a two-on-one from there. So it's just trying to balance those things and uh, knowing when and where to do those things. So anyway, that's just a little review of uh, today, but uh, we'll continue to keep moving forward and uh, get some fresh air. I think I plan to head to the ice bath once I get home, so um, we're going to be filling up some more ice and getting nice and cold before the game today. And I also wanted to say, if you're one of those people who watched my day in the life last time, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you is literally the least I could do for you guys. So I'm planning on coming out with a little bit more long form content and trying to serve you guys in that community because I feel like the guys and gals who are in the community of long form content are the ones who really want to watch you and uh, really want to be a part of the community because you're looking into a different dimension of my life and it's more personal than your average short form content so i appreciate you guys and um i love y'all let's uh let's go take a cold tub the household cole's back per usual he's just sleeping and uh yeah we're uh i gotta delete some content so there's a uh, bunch of photos and gigabytes of data that's taken up my uh, space. So I think I have about 510 gigabytes of 512 gigabytes used. So I'm gonna have to delete all that before I even continue to film. So I'll see you in a little bit and then we'll go to the ace bath. So as I go through my drafts right now, I'm starting to realize like how many videos, um, both YouTube long form content and short form content that hasn't even come out. I feel like only like five to 10% of the videos that you actually capture are the ones that come out. So I'm hoping I can go back into my drafts after this and actually work on that stuff. But for now, um, Dana life's our priority. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you all as a priority. I and mean, you don't have to be good at it. You just have to like, no, like I mean, be able like to do it. In the background. You're not gonna put the audio in, are you? 
No, no, I'm not going to put the audio in. So, Cole is going to be our cameraman today. He's ready to go. I'm also the garbage man. Here. Just kidding. I'm going to ask a bunch of people. So. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm still freaking trying to get all the camera out of here. And when I mean camera, I'm trying to get the storage out of here. So, um, I'm still working away, and then we're going to hit the ice bath. Soon, soon. We got enough storage for the rest of the day, so we shall um, continue. I will see you in the ice bath. All right, let's go. We finally get to go to the ice bath. Come on, let's do this, baby. while we go first. I just have a gut feeling that the rest of my day is gonna be super high pace, um, but we'll kind of see what goes down the rest of the day. I'm just going to get a cup of coffee and then uh, I will finally hit the ice bath that I keep telling you guys about. That is actually awful. I literally just, I just recorded myself talking. That literally didn't record at all. I just took a bunch of photos. So that's great, but I was telling you that I'm going to get a cup of coffee. No to Wawa, we're gonna get a cup of coffee before we hit the ice bath, then we'll do some movement, all that good stuff. Uh, we got about two and a half hours until our game, or I have to show up to my game, so, saying the least, we don't got a lot of time, but we're gonna be filming on the fly as we go and uh, keep flying, let's go. So you filming a day in a life today. Let's go, I saw my friends at Wawa. I'm getting a cup of coffee right now, but. <laughs> oh yeah, that's 100% what it is. So you And trust me, I am nothing special when it comes to uh, coffee. Um, literally just drink it black. Don't put anything in it. So I, I'm sorry if uh, I'm not your best barista. Folks, we've secured our black cup of coffee. We're ready to go. We can finally go and take an ice bath. It's like I've said it 17 times already. Come on. The best part about going to public places and filming is that you see a bunch of people. Um, shout out to the women's hockey team that I did just see in Wawa. Other than that, people look at you like crazy. I was trying to get all different angles while I was in Wawa as well, just so then um, it looked like you were getting the full experience. But. Without further ado, let's go take a freaking ice bath. Get out of the way! I'm sorry. And we've made it to the ice bath arena. <laughs> all right, we make our way inside. We are all dialed in now. It's ice bath time. I hate the ice bath. <clears throat> So we're on a little bit of a move this morning just because I know our athletic trainer leaves around like 12.15. So it's about 11.30 now. I just want to make sure um, I come early so I'm not a hassle for this ice bath. I love talking about this ice bath because I feel like it's the most challenging part of the day. Oh, coffee's hot. Gotta go. All right, we made it. We are finally in the room. I don't see anyone so that gives me a little bit of concern though. I need ice, I need a key to unlock the ice machine to put ice in the ice bath. I'm running around like a madman. There's absolutely nobody in the training room right now. And um, yeah, we're not gonna have ice if we don't. And the theme I've been talking about all week is that Shit might not go your way on game day, so you have to do everything in your power to prepare for it days in advance. You need to prepare, you cannot procrastinate. But um, this is a form of procrastination because I'm doing an ice bath last minute, but this is just kind of a part of the routine. So we're gonna try and get resourceful here and I see 
some ice over there, so we're gonna find out. I don't know if this is a violation to the training room, but I need, there's only snow in here. I can't get ac access to the real ice, and um, we're gonna put a little bit of this in a bin here and go from there. What I'm doing instead is I'm gonna be filling up the ice bath only like, a quarter of its way up and I'm just gonna cover my legs because I don't have much ice. I'm only gonna fill one of these up because to be honest, I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this, but I'm not supposed to fill up this snow in one of these Gatorade buckets. So, um, I'm, but I'm doing whatever it takes in order to get this ice bath because my legs, they need it. <laughs> So as you can see here, I only filled it up like a quarter of the way up just so then um, the amount of snow that I have in here will at least cool the water so I'll have my lower body in there. All right, here we go. I didn't really know what to do. Thank you, yeah. yes. All right. Sounds good. Folks, we have a key, we found a savior. Thank you, Julia, from the athletic train. Um, we're gonna go actually go get some ice now, so let's let's go, I'll keep the, the tub filling. So I gotta be out of here in 20, so you get to see me just walk with the uh, bucket of ice today. Uh, nothing too crazy, but we get to go, we got it. Winners find a way, baby, let's go. But of course, I forgot the scooper and I lost track of the key that I need to use. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back and find the key. Come on. Actually, you know what? Hey, never mind. After all, look, the temperature's gone down to at least 50 degrees, is which would we need in a ice bath. So um, we're gonna keep it as this, and there's still ice in there, so it still needs to melt. Um, so we're gonna just reject the whole key scenario, and we're gonna just do it, okay? We don't have much time anyway. Let's go, come on! See, some things just work out as they way, so we're gonna get changed here. We're only gonna be going in the ice bath for about two minutes today. We did it, my friends. We did it. Somehow, some way, we made it happen. That's what winners do. What I think about today is I need to change more angles of my shot. Hold on to the puck a little bit more. There's more time than you think when you do have the puck, but it's about making a play with what you got. And also, another thing would be reading defense's feet. I find a lot of the time defensemen always are coming attacking you straight footed. You need to be able to know um, when they're coming at you straight footed and when they're coming to angle you. When they're usually angling you, those are your best times to dump it and get it in behind them. It's hard to make a move when they're angling unless their angle's really, really off. But if they come at you with straight feet, that's your opportunity to fake the shot, change the angle, and do all those different types of things. So um, those are my foods of thought, but for the rest of my ice bath, I'm just gonna relax. Need about a minute more in the ice bath, and then we're good. We are all done, so for our ice bath today, let's shake it off and uh, let's get ready to go. Obviously, some body parts feel a little uh, smaller than others, but um, that's the kind of thing the ice bath does to you. <laughs> Gym clothes on now. Got my avocado socks. I'm ready to go. Ready to grind the gym. So we're gonna head up to the gym now and uh, just do a little bit of band work, do some backwards walking, just warm up the body after we've been just absolutely frozen to death. And for those who want a fit check, here's what we're looking like right? when we're going to the gym, and that's all you need to know.
so there's a couple things on my mind during game day. Um, I don't usually do anything crazy lower body wise because your lower body's gonna go through a lot, but I do love getting a good upper body and core workout. It's nothing like crazy, crazy. I'm doing pull-ups, I'm doing neck ball slams. I'm doing some core payoff presses and abs. Um, but I do find if I just stimulate myself enough where I'm at least pushing myself to at least some um, upper body and core limits, then I feel like I'm, I've stimulated my brain enough to kind of like wake up and get going and feel like I have some mental clarity and focus throughout the rest of my day. So that's kind of like what I'm going through is just a small little circuit, upper body, core, nothing too crazy with the legs. The only legs I did do today was uh, the backwards walking, but that was just kind of warm up. That's all. All right, so it's about 12.15 now. We've done what we needed to do. We gotta, um, I usually leave, leave around 1.30 for a 4 p.m. game, so we're gonna go head back and eat some time. We don't have much time, so let's, uh, let's get a move on. People probably asking, it's like 12.15 already, why haven't you eaten? Well, last night after the game, I didn't eat until probably like around 11 p.m. And I try to give my body at least like 11 to 14 hours until I eat again, just so then I actually rest and I actually take the time to recover. Because constantly when your body is working on digesting all your foods, it's working so hard to digest your foods rather than actually help you recover. And although food is part of the recovery process, I think it's just as important to make sure you have um, or are in a rested state as well. So anyway, that's my uh, food for thought for the day. No pun intended. All right, folks, we made it safe and sound. We're gonna head inside and we're gonna go cook some food. We only got about an hour until we actually gotta get to the rink. So gotta go, let's go. And every time I go into my house, I always think there's gonna be something new going on. So uh, let's go see what's happening in this house right now. No, empty, empty. Guy, like, goes to everything. <laughs> they need, like, a tug or something. <laughs> something. Like, they need some blood. They need some blood. They need some blood. They didn't get fucking nothing. <laughs> hey, you're right. Oh, Alright, we're gonna snack on some dates. Um, we're gonna keep lunch relatively simple. We play at four, so... That's only like three and a half hours from now. I'm probably just gonna have some dates. I'll have some eggs, avocado, and then I'll have a smoothie prior to the game. Nothing crazy though. I'm trying to keep it light, keep it simple. Just because it's it's so quick from now. I don't wanna feel like I'm digesting food while I'm playing. Cool thing is though, we got a new oven, so um, I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but four out of the four stoves or burners actually work now, rather than just two. I'll have a little happy pool on the fly as well, but we gotta move quick here. We gotta move quick. My friends, the eggs are finally done. I try and not like overcook them because eggs usually cook while they're also off the plate as well because they're so warm. So throw those on there. Literally have an avocado. I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna cut up some cheese too. There's some cheese on there. Just a very simple meal. Nothing too crazy. A couple slices of cheese. I got some avocado and I got some eggs and we're good to go. I got my apple. I am I'm literally gonna be flying today. It's about 12.40 now, so we got some eggs. We got four eggs, avocado, some cheese. And uh, this will be our pregame meal today. Nothing too crazy. I'm keeping it simple and as light as possible. Not too shabby. Another thing I try to do when I'm eating is just not rush the process of eating. So if it's 12.40 now, I'll give myself until like one o'clock to actually eat all this. I'll take my time, there's no rush to really eat food. I feel like you can get overfilled with food if you eat it too quick. And that's what happens when you have digestive problems and stomach aches and all whatnot. And if I don't feel like I'm hungry enough to eat all this, I won't eat it all either. So knowing when you're hungry and when you're not is another big, um, big thing for me as well. So, 
no, no. And in saying all that, uh, I'm literally just gonna take a bite, take a break from eating right now, and I'm gonna make myself a smoothie right now. Inside my pre-game drink, I'll have a very little bit of protein, I'll have some honey, I'll usually do like three squeezes of honey, and then I'll have a quarter teaspoon of salt, that will be inside one full Gatorade bottle. I didn't forget the squeeze of lemon, right? Squeeze a lemon too, like a quarter of a lemon. So for drinks today, we have ourselves a cup of coffee. We have ourselves that lemon, creatine, honey, and um, lemon squeezed inside of here. We also have our smoothie, and then we also have a duplicate of what we have in the Gatorade bottle in here, just without any creatine. And uh, that's it. Now it's time to uh, head upstairs, get changed. So uh, we're gonna go do that. Let's go. Back in the premise, um, we have our bunk bed here. I got a buddy of mine sleeping right now. And uh, yeah, per usual, the bunk bed. But now it's like one o'clock now, so we're banging on time, apparently. So <clears throat> without further ado, I'm gonna get changed and uh, put a little suit on him. So let's uh, do it. <laughs> we're keeping it light, um, trying to keep the energy light, um, keep everything light. I'm gonna put a darker jacket over top, as you'll see in a moment. This is going to be our sheet for today. Here we go. I kind of feel like I'm in a rush of everything. But this is, uh, this is what we're going in with today. I'm going to be honest, this shirt just doesn't feel like it goes with these pants. So I'm just going to go with back to back. I'm going to go with dark pants, light shirt, dark top. Here we go. Yeah, they all want the only pants. So it should be a... <laughs> Boys are joking around. They think it's funny. I'm going to start at OnlyFans. Just kidding, that's not allowed. Anyway, um, I think the black looks better than the, uh, the light pants, but maybe put my tie up and then we're good to go. Let's go uh, win a hockey game. game. Wake up, boy. So basically, here's the half breakaway that I had here and I shot the puck too late. As you can see, right about here, I have the goalie outside of the net, except I stick handle one too many times and he actually starts to slide over. So once he starts to slide over right here, I probably probably should have faked the backhand right here and then it would have opened up his five hole under a stick right here. So if I slid, I would have went back five hole. Instead, I fanned on the shot and fucked it up. But that's the game of hockey and you just gotta kind of bounce back and recognize what happens. And for the meantime, uh, my phone's at 9%, so uh, we're living on the edge quite literally here. So I'm gonna just uh, let this uh, phone charge up for a little bit here before I leave at 1.30, about 25 minutes of charge time. Don't know how much that'll get us, but we will find out. Folks, we are ready to go here in the car, and we are about to head to the rink. Let's do it. Trying to give my phone a little bit of charge every way possible, so we got the uh, car outlet that is going to be our savior today. Come on. Here's our walk up to the rink today. We got a game going on right now and then we got some kiddos walking around.
Oh, oh. We have the smoothie about 90 minutes prior to heading onto the ice. We're gonna head for warm up now, and then uh, we'll be rolling from there. There we go. Now I gotta figure out where the boys are. Oh, they're way over there. Okay, we're good to go. All right, I found the boys. They have found a crevice for sewer. A little windy out today, so we'll see uh, how the boys are end up doing. for Sue here and uh, we'll be heading to warm up today. I'm not gonna record warm up. I'm just gonna let this thing fly because my phone's at like 11%. The champion, here we go, we got a battle here. Everyone's got the right guy, he's feeling hot today. Uh oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, and he dusted it, he dusted it. All right, warm up time. Prior to the game, we're gonna do a little bit of meditation breath work. Nothing too crazy, just visualizing and uh, sitting here patient.
fuck off. Alright, oh, put background music. Come on, boy. Alright folks, January 13th, um, we lost again against Utica, this time 5-0, um, obviously they're not the result you want. Uh, personally on my side, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more confident with the puck, but um, the puck just doesn't want to cross the goal line. Um, I wasn't really faking the shot, changing the angle, trying to like maneuver the goalie, I'm just kind of shooting under like pressure, I don't really feel like um, I have that jazz to finish the puck. but. Um, moving forward, we're going to work on that in practice. Um, you're obviously going to go up, down, and in between throughout the season. And uh, scoring is supposed to be what I'm supposed to do. And uh, when you don't do it, you get frustrated and you're hard on yourself. So that just means you just keep pushing forward and you keep moving forward. And that's all you can really ask is um, put the in, put in. Don't expect anything, but uh, obviously be hard on yourself and expect to win sometimes. So moving forward, we still got a long, long, long rest of our season. We still got eight more weeks to go, and uh, um, we'll be in playoff shape by uh, by that time. But other than that, I appreciate you uh, watching, and uh, I love y'all. I'll see you soon. So it's about 7 o'clock now. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do the rest of the night. I'm kind of just chillaxing. I'm going to make myself some more food. I don't really even know what I have in my pantry. So we'll kind of just go with the flow and I'll uh, keep you updated on the loop and uh, we'll go from there. But other than that, I love y'all. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this day and we'll uh, keep pushing forward. I think uh, the one thing we do need to know is that success comes in bulks. It doesn't always come like consistently. It all comes at one time, like when you're not expecting it. So it's just keep plugging away at the process. I'm telling you, um, I'm now feeling more confident than ever with the puck and doing more things that I wasn't doing in the first half. Um, and it comes with taking risks and risks mean everything. You can't be afraid to take risks even though you might, you know, screw up at the blue line or you might screw up against a defenseman. Like it doesn't matter. You need to take risks in order to put the biscuit in the net. So um, let's keep moving forward and uh, let's see what the rest of the night turns out to be. Next inside, um, the boys are uh, making some dishes. What do we got here, Hatsy? Taco burgers. Taco burgers. These look kind of good. Yeah. Damn. All right. What What are the ingredients on this? It's right here. Right here. Oh, right here. Beef on the thing. Nice. Season it up. Slap her in there. Oh, iron. cast iron. Look at this guy. He's a good guy. Not a boy. Not a boy. Not a boy. Come on. Come on. All right. Just make sure they don't see it. Oh. <laughs>